scrappy friends. I have a scrappy play date with Alicia and Hannah episode for you today. Today, me and Alicia are doing Project Life. She was talking to me about how she was wanting to start Project Life, and so we thought it would be fun to do a Project Life spread together. So after you're done watching mine, if you want to go in the comments below, I'll have her video linked. She already posted hers, so I'm a little bit behind just getting the voiceover done and everything. So I am doing the spread for June 7th through the 13th. This is the next one in my where I am. I'm not caught up, but I'm not worried about it. I'm just trying to keep it simple. And this week, I'm going to keep it pretty simple. I mostly am sticking to like teals and like pinks and like some gold colors. So, or I should say more mint colors. So this is the, the first card that I'm doing. And this is like the title card. And I really like that Heidi Swap heart with the hello. So I'm going to use that as like the main focus and then just put the June. And those are my mind's eye gold letter chipboard stickers. And then I just use some other like a label and stuff. So pretty simple and just added some pink fresh studio. Those little triangle things were from pink fresh studio. So I really liked this card from Webster's Pages. It's like a gray, like almost weavy, like it almost looks like a fabric. And then it has the gold dots. And so I'm just using a picture of my daughter. And I'm going to be putting that banner over top of the picture. And then I just put a piece of paper right behind the photo so it's kind of matted and a really thin mat. Uh, I didn't want to take away from that photo too much. It's just a picture of Lonnie scrapping. She's making a card or something. So I think she's making a card. And really there, I mean, the picture kind of said it all. So for this next picture, I um, I decided to cut off part of it because it was uh, three by four, the landscape, and I didn't think that you needed to see as much, and I did want to leave a little bit of space for some journaling, so, and so that you could see the flamingos on there, I just cut the picture a little bit, and then added that so clever paper, and then just that heart, and I think I added an enamel dot at this point. And then I'm just going to journal. And that picture was something that I had got in a pocket letter. It's like these little sequins in a jar. And the jar was so cute. So I had to take a picture of it. So that was from June. I did a pocket letter. I just did one. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing those. Are they cool anymore? I mean, I know for a while they were like really cool. And now I don't feel like you see them that much. <laughs> So I really liked that striped paper from Webster's, Webster's Pages. And I was going to use that for my background. And then I decided to use the black and white instead and just mat the photo in the that, meal, that teal or mint, <laughs> trying to combine the two. And I'm just going to add a little bit of that washi tape. It's a really thin... So I'm not sure like what, how big it is, but it's really thin. So it works really well for like this kind of thing. And then I found that directional thingy, the geotag. <laughs> and I really like the way that the opening looks. So at this point, I'm thinking that I want to fill it up. And at first I thought I was going to use the branding strip. And then I didn't really want to... I was going to have to use two pieces in there and I didn't want to be able to see the crease. And then I remembered I had that black and white dot over to the side it, within some of my stash stuff on the side of my desk. So I'm going to use that and I just cut around it. So you can see in between 
that circle and so I can write something really small in there. So I'm just going to write silly Espo and a date. And it's just a picture of my dog. It's kind of hard to see because it's black and white and it was taken at nighttime. But he was trying to like dig at the couch because he does silly stuff like that. So if I can catch those antics on camera, I usually try. <laughs> um, and this picture is of my husband and my daughter Lonnie. And then Caden is in the picture, but I think it's just Lonnie and my husband playing video games and Caden just sitting there watching. So my husband had gotten, I'm not sure, if, I think this is when he first got the Jurassic Park Lego game. And he was super excited to show the kids because he thought they would like it, which they did. And so Lonnie was figuring out how to play it and they just love playing video games together. So it was just really fun to get that. And I had that piece, that piece of, I think it's from Pink Paisley. It's the Belle of Rouge, I think, collection. I think that's what that is. And then the, I just cut like a border and then just left a little bit of space so that I could journal on the side of that. So you could see the hearts from the, I think that's Heidi Swap. And plus, I didn't like the fact that they were rounded corners, so that's why I didn't use that as a full thing. I mean, I don't mind that the title page has the rounded corners, but I really don't want rounded corners for the inside, the other pieces. And, oh yeah, it says Hello Summer, and because this is when summer was just starting for us, I think we were just getting done with school around this time if I remember correctly, <laughs> or we had just gotten done. So we were finishing up just a few things that we had left over that we had to finish and stuff like that. So this next page or card, and I'm using the one with the three, uh, four by sixes that are horizontal up at the top. And then the the no the vertical ones up at the top and then the horizontal three by fours down at the bottom so I am running out of my design a which I really like from Becky Higgins but instead of going out and just picking up more I'm going to try to use some of my other designs that I have in the box that has the mixed because I got that big box before I was doing project life so I'm just going to use that pink to border or like map my paper because I wanted something bright because the picture is kind of dark. And that's a picture of one of the nights I was scrapping. I think I was doing a project like video <laughs> and I got bit by a centipede at my scrap station. So I took a picture of it and it's not a pretty picture. I could be worse. Don't get me wrong. It's not like it's bloody or anything. But I decided to cover up my big toe because it just doesn't look that great. And I really wasn't focused on my big toe because that's not where I got bit. So I covered that up. And I had that card that says, whoa, that it was so cool. And instead, <laughs> uh, I thought that was cute. But instead, I put that was so cool. And then I put not. So I also use pop dots underneath that, and then I'm just sticking in that tag, and I'm going to put the date, that was the 8th, and then I'm going to do my journaling on there. And I just said how I got bit by a centipede, and it wasn't fun. I don't really think I need to elaborate too much on it. I mean, I just got bit by a centipede. He bit me like three times, so boy, that hurt. It hurt. I had to stop scrapping. I was kind of irritated. <laughs> But, you know, so is life, right? When you live in a tropical place, you have bugs that you don't have. And, I mean, when I lived in El Paso, we had cockroaches all over the place. So I will say that here we really don't have too much of a problem with the cockroaches too much. I mean, sometimes you'll see them. And there are, like, beetles and stuff outside. But for the most part, we don't have too many bugs because we keep it clean and everything. But, and keep. but that was the first time I seen that centipede. That was gross. So here's a picture of a plumeria flower that I have in my yard. Uh, I think this is one of the first buds that came out. and Or at least from this 
this plant and this one has it's like a pink and then on the inside it's more orange and it reminds me of the Amy Tan paper so I should have used that for this but I didn't it's okay I could always do a big 12 by 12 so to keep my layout looking like together I'm going to use that washi tape again and then I'm using those burlap Alphas, just to spell out Pomeria. Of course, I didn't realize that I didn't have an R, so I have to pull. I pull black R, and it's completely like way different. But I kind of like the way that it looks. That it's just one letter in all these other letters that is a little different. And so, I know I kind of fool around with what I want to put above Plumeria because I wasn't really sure if I wanted. I wanted to put something else up in that top space besides those banners that I'm putting down, but I really liked those speech bubbles that said hello, but they just didn't fit that well. And I didn't want to cut up the the speech bubble part of it. I thought it, that actually looked kind of cute, but it was just way too big. So I look at a couple of things, and then I found this hello that was in that navy blue on the Dear Lizzie pack. So I'm just going to stick with that. It's not my favorite. I can't but it helps put something else up there. And then, so I'm thinking about what else I want to put because I feel like where the banners are need something. And I did add a bunny, even though bunnies, there's no bunnies in my yard. <laughs> but I just thought the bunny kind of looked cute with the flower. And then I'm looking for some word stickers and I'm going to cut up this amazing from the Maggie Holmes. But I decided to put it up on the top because it kind of blends in with the bunny. So I'm going to look for a gold one, and that one says paradise. So I think it works. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of journaling and some gold enamel dots. I really keep this super, super simple because I, after having a week of not feeling that good and trying to get back into scrapping and stuff, I don't want to make things really, really complicated and I want to get my project life done. And as much as sometimes project life can look amazing and cool, you can, I feel like if you spend too much time on it after a while, you just feel a little burnt out. So I am really just trying to keep it simple. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to mat this in because I really want to add an extra layer. And then I realized that I had this card that had the yellow, the white, the pink. It had like almost all the colors that I was looking at, except for I was using gold instead of yellow. But that was okay. And that's from Dear Lizzie. And so I just used that. And I really like the way the stripes look with that black and white star and like dots. And I like that pink on the side, but I'm going to end up moving it because I want to use that sticker from Maggie Holmes that says our life <clears throat> but it really only fit up on the top without covering up the picture and it's a picture of my daughter Leilani we ended up that on the 13th I had to take her to the emergency room because she, she was on chemo and in even now not on chemo she still has a poor and if she gets a fever of a certain temperature we have to just take her into the ER just because she could have an infection. So that was the case. She had a fever and we had to take her in and she was fine. But we still had to go in late at night and it's a pain in the butt. So I put, I'm going to use letter stickers to spell out sucks. <laughs> and then I'm going to write sometimes. <laughs> just because this is one of those moments where we're like, ugh, this sucks. You know, you never pick for your kids to be sick or to have a life-threatening illness, or to have any kind of disability. And when you have to deal with the something that is along the lines of your kid having this, a disability or an illness, it just sucks. I mean, you know, it's not that, that every day sucks, and we are, you know, super thankful for everything and how good Lonnie has been, but it, just, it does suck when you have to go into the emergency room at 10 o'clock at night, and then the next day you have to go in at 10, and so, you know, sometimes I just keep it real when I'm doing my journaling, because, you know, later on throughout life, I want, I want my kids to, 
to know that there are certain things that, yeah, sucked, but we just sucked it up and we went through it and we, you know, we took the good and the bad. And, you know, Lonnie, she had her Furby with her. She was super happy. She was, you know, talking with the ER doctor and making jokes with him. And so, I mean, really life isn't too bad. But anyway, so this last card, which I put off till the end because it's just a filler card, I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do with it. And then I decided I'm going to add one of those chicken nitty uh, brads that I have like a ton of. <laughs> and then I put in that gold sticker that says live in the moment. And those are from Pink Fresh Studio. And I'm just going to journal a little bit and just say pretty much that week we I scrapped a lot. I was starting to work on the concept for the new YouTube channel that I put out, the Crafty Maven Getaway. And so I was starting to do some brainstorming and stuff like that with that channel. And I think we were finishing up a little bit of some of the paperwork and like a few last minute things from our schoolwork. So it really was an easy week, but I did want to kind of just add a little bit more to my journaling because really that's what project life should be. And that's what scrapping is about, is about getting our stories down so that our kids can remember. So here are the close-ups. Don't forget to go and check out Alicia's video and see what she did with project life as well. I will talk to you guys later and I will try to bring you guys a video in the next few days. Bye.